Hey everyone, I want to show you a chart pattern here today on a, an AI ETF, meaning an ETF that invests in AI and robotics. And what's really cool about this one, before I show you the chart, it's actually a very globally diversified one. So uh, before we get to the chart, let me share with you what this thing actually is. The ticker symbol is BOTZ. And <clears throat> if you look at the holdings, what strikes, uh, what strikes me here is that obviously, as in many of these kind of AI things, uh, ETFs, you have NVIDIA currently still as the top holding. I would expect that to change at some point. But then you have things, things like Intuitive Surgical, which is really not something that a lot of people or too many people think about AI, as certainly on the headline. <clears throat> then you got a company called ABB, which is a huge Swiss engineering company. Um, and then some Japanese stocks. And then, of course, you know, again, it really it kind of runs the gamut of anything that's that's sort of related to robotics and AI. And what I like about it is the fact that it's not just AI, because robotics and AI, there, and AI there's a lot of cross, cross-pollination there. And I really, really think that is um, a fantastic lineup here. And as you'll see in a second on the chart, uh, that seems to be echoing, uh, be echoed there as well. But also it's global, globally diversified. I actually think that we're going to start to see um, global equities outperform U.S. equities going forward for a while. We've had such a long outperformance of U.S. stocks. Um, but I think we're going to start to see a broadening of this going forward and a little bit away from U.S. equities. Not because they're bad, but just because we're starting to get a bit stretched in terms of forward multiples and stuff like that. So that gets us to the chart. Let's have a look at this. And again, the ticker symbol is BOTZ. This here is a daily chart. And, you know, I think a line kind of draws itself. It's not that hard to see. This is a stock that's been struggling to get above that sort of, you know, low 30s level, 32, 33-ish. <clears throat> and the more it's coiling here, the more uh, we could ultimately see it move higher. This can go plenty higher. This could, can go well into the mid to high 30s. Uh, from a trading perspective, from an investment perspective, God knows what the upside is. So <clears throat> this is one I think that's worthwhile putting on the radar. Remember, not a recommendation, purely educational. But I think it's uh, it, this makes a lot of sense to um, to look at. Hope it helps, and we'll see you again soon.